Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Katrina and I do beauty videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair with a flat iron. I don't do it often, I kind of like the look that I get with the curling iron better, but if there's ever a time where I kind of want to do something different, I'll use my flat iron. For the most part it's quick depending on your hair length. It definitely was hard for me to learn at first when I started doing it a couple years ago. Like I can do it on somebody else, but on myself, I don't know, my hands feel awkward and it's hard to do. So it definitely took a lot of practice. So. If you haven't done it before or if you're struggling to do it too, don't worry, just practice. Practice on like a low heat setting so you're not like burning your hair, but definitely practice and you'll get the hang of it. Before we get to the video, I would really love if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification button so you're always notified when I write upload. Also stay tuned um, at the end of the video because I'm going to be talking about a possible giveaway. I am going to be using my Numi flat iron. I have a love-hate relationship with this company because I had the flat iron, the blow dryer, and the curling wand. And the curling wand and the blow dryer w was dead in like a year. Like it only lasted a year. Like, I don't know, it just didn't turn on anymore. This has lasted me a couple of years, so I'm happy with the flat iron, but I don't know, I haven't purchased any styling tools from them since. Maybe it was just those two tools. I don't know, maybe it's just their blow dryers and their curling wands. I don't know. but the straightener has lasted me pretty long like i think i've had this since i want to say like five years five years yeah and it's lasted me and it still looks pretty good i mean it's a little scratched and banged up because i used it so often but yeah it's pretty good i have my flat iron um i think it's about three three ten three ten or so it doesn't need to be like super super hot number one always um decide how you want to part your hair um i don't know if i want to do middle or side Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do the other side. Um, I guess I'll do side. Also, this is how my hair looks after maybe like two or three days after I did my um, blow dryer with the comb attachment video. If you haven't seen it, I'll post it somewhere in the description so you can check it out. But yeah, you can see my hair is actually pretty straight. I mean, I probably have some bends in the back, from, you know, when I'm sleeping or if I start sweating a little bit, but it lasted pretty good. Now, this is only because it's like not hot yet. Like if it was hot, like 70s, 80 degrees, no, forget it. My hair, I don't even bother straightening my hair, blow drying my hair in the summertime because it's, there's no point. It's just going to poof up anyway. I'm going to separate my hair in half, like always. I'm telling you, sectioning your hair when you're doing styling it makes it so much easier. Almost any styling, curling, straightening, blow drying, whatever it is, I pretty much almost section it the same. So I'll take like the section under my ear, I'll take the section over my ear, um, like my eye or my eyebrow, and then I split the top one in half. Really simple. As always, you want to spray your heat protectant. I use the Chi Iron Guard and I sprayed it in my hair. Also, I am going to spray a little bit of the Kenra Fast Dry Hairspray. Just a tiny bit. Whether it's curling with the curling iron or the flat iron, I always do it away from my face. I just think it's flattering for my face. And, um, I mean, I don't mind if they all kind of form together or bunch up together. All I do, clamp the hair, twist it around, and drag it down. Simple. Again. Clamp the hair. Twist it around, bring it down. Kind of gives you like a wave. Honestly, I'll tell you when I started um, curling my hair with flat iron, it was so hard for me. Even now, you can kind of see like my hands look kind of awkward doing it. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so used to the curling iron and having more grip, I guess, and more control. And this is kind of like, I don't know, like even now, you seem like I'm still awkward doing it. And it was definitely hard for me to do it at first, and that's me like a hairstylist saying that. I mean, I can do it on somebody else, but on myself it's hard to do it. I don't know why. I would definitely take smaller sections. I think it's harder um, when you try to take bigger sections. You see, I'm curling everything on this side away from my face. What I do like about curling your hair with a flat iron is it gives like a really good hold. It's 
sometimes I even do this like I'll roll it up and let it go so I'll show you that again like sometimes I'll clamp it roll it around bring it all the way down roll it in and let it go I don't know if that makes a difference but I feel like it does and that was really simple it took like what five minutes usually I'll speed this side up but I think I will do it in real time so you guys can see comment down below your favorite um, flat iron or styling tools I don't know I don't have a, a fave I mean for curling iron my fave is definitely hot tools um, it's just like great quality great price and um, you know they last long for flat iron I like my cortex I've had that for years also I don't know I'm not really particular to anything I think for blow dryer my favorite brand is Fabulous um, I had a Babylos, if I can find a picture I'll post it in here, I had a Babylos, it was like a red blow dryer, I don't remember the model number, and that lasted me um, years, years, years. Um, the only reason I stopped using it is because it's like all scratched up, like it was red and now it's like the, the uh, paint or whatever is chipped off, otherwise I would still be using it. I had actually purchased it from flatironexperts.com comment down below um if you heard of that site i don't think it's up anymore but when i had started youtube like six years ago that was like such a popular site because um if you guys know i believe her username was rosebud something rosebud something and she used to use um this kqc flat iron and it was from, i think you could only get it from flat iron experts it was really popular at the time and um i had ordered the kqc flat iron and a babyliss i don't remember the number that kqc flat iron was my favorite it was so good it only lasted like two or three years but i don't know if it's possible like i feel like it gave hair like such a nice shine when you did it but it's like it's really expensive I think it was over a hundred dollars so that was the only sucky thing yeah I wonder what happened to that site actually I haven't watched that girl Rosebud in a long time now I'm gonna have to go check out her channel after this and see if she still uploads comment down below if you ever watched her I need a new flat iron though. So yeah, I use this Numi flat iron for myself, but for my clients, I use a Cortex. And um, it still works fine, like it's perfect, but it just looks old, like it's kind of scratched up and everything. And yeah, I want a new one, but I really, I really don't know which brand to get. If you don't want such a tight curl, you can start kind of lower, so that way you, your curl isn't so tight. I don't mind because I don't put hairspray in my hair, so I like the um, the loose waves that um, you get as they fall naturally throughout the day. What I'll do, like if I'm getting ready and I'm doing my hair, usually I'll kind of do it and just leave it and maybe I'll like do my makeup or start getting dressed. Um, for the purposes of the video, I'll kind of show you what I do maybe like half an hour after I do it when it kind of like cools down. So I'll just run my fingers through it. Like I said, if you don't want such a tight curl, you can kind of start more um, halfway down. 
so that way the wave is kind of only towards the end but again like i said i don't really put hairspray in my hair so i kind of like it to be as tight as possible at first and then you know fall looser throughout the day let's spice this up a little bit by adding a braid i'm sectioning everything from in front of my ear taking this first piece dividing it into three and then we're braiding under the middle under the middle grab some hair under the middle under the middle grab some hair under the middle so basically only for the front piece you're adding hair but for the back piece you're not and you do that all the way down and if you want you can kind of tug at it make it a little bit bigger get some bobby pins make an X cross them to lock it in place and then just bring your hair over that's cute that's it this is how I curl my hair with the flat iron really simple it really doesn't take that much time well depending on your hair length my hair is shorter now so it took me faster if my hair was a little bit longer probably add about 15 more minutes but still really simple really easy um when you want a little bit different look from the curling iron definitely try this out the flat iron itself gives like a really great hold more than the curling iron i feel but if you're someone who you feel like your hair still doesn't hold curl well after you do your section all you have to do is kind of wrap it and pin it up pin it all up let it sit for like an hour or so take it out and I'm telling you, you'll have long lasting waves for the whole night. If you're still watching, I really want to do a giveaway. Um, but I already missed like the 1000 sub. I wanted to do it from then, but I kind of didn't have enough time to. And I already missed it and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I want to do a giveaway for 2000 subs. Um, I am going to be doing either... I don't know, what do you guys think? I want to do... I was thinking of a $50 um, gift card. You know, like a um, Amex MasterCard, whatever either a $50 or $225. So comment down below, let me know what you think, but I have to get to 2,000 subs first. Like I would love to do a giveaway for each thousand or maybe like after the 2,000, maybe like 5,000, 10,000 if possible. I don't know, you never know. But yeah, definitely for 2,000, I wanna do a giveaway since I missed the 1,000 mark. I would really appreciate if you guys could share my videos, share them with your friends, you know, anyone you think might be interested, um, in my videos i would really appreciate it but i really want to do that for 2000 subs but we got to get there first i have faith that it'll happen <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what you think of the style comment down below your favorite flat iron like i'm really looking to get a new flat iron so i'm interested in what you know brands and stuff people like or maybe if there's one i've never heard of make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification button so you're always notified when i upload and i'll see you next time bye